Hey Scorpio, what's up? Welcome back to Soul Vibe and back with another tarot reading here for you. Scorpio, this is a May 2021 update. All right, so we're going to tap into your energy to see what this month has for you. Beginning, middle, and end of May is what we're going to look into. All right, so we're going to see what the overall vibe is with these cards. Pull out some self-care oracle, some guidance from the moon for the new moon and full moon, and some advice from the universe as well as my little mermaid cards as well. So stick through for all the goodie oracle cards that I will be putting in putting out or <laughs> pulling out so let's go ahead and tap in shall we scorpio all signs if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is carrie i do monthly tarot readings uh, money and career tarot readings as well as love readings and weekly updates so if that's something you're interested in go ahead and hit the subscribe button but let's go ahead and see what's up so scorpio your card is freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So I feel like maybe you're starting something new that's giving you a lot of freedom. Or maybe you're just coming into that energy where you're just starting to feel a lot better about um, your situation. Whatever situation that you're going through, of course, put it in that, in that uh, resonance. But let's go ahead and see. Oh. Scorpio. May 2021. What does Scorpio have coming for May 2021? Scorpio, May 2021, beginning, middle, and end, please. First card. I'm going to pull all three cards out and then I will go into it, okay? So you can skip my shuffling if you'd like. Scorpio. Wow. Scorpio, Scorpio, all signs Scorpio, May 2021, beginning, middle, and end. Let's see what's coming up around you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take these. So it's going to be a four card spread for you. Back of the deck energy is the Knight of Cups. Wow, Scorpio. Okay, I see you. So let's go ahead and get started. Temperance card, okay? So definitely a lot of harmony or a harmonious uh, vibe is coming up around you the month of May, okay? The Temperance, the Lovers, Nine of Swords, and Eight of Pentacles is actually, um, to me, it's like uh, guidance from the universe, okay? With the Temperance card that has come out at first. It's like if you were looking for a sign or if you were wondering if something is going to play out this month, um, something new and refreshing or something that seems like it's faded in some type of way, I feel like the Temperance card is here to tell you um as your spirit guide or your universe or your angels, whatever, um, they're here to tell you that everything is going to be okay and everything is going to work out just as you want it to work out, all right? I see a lot of wings here. As you can see, the red wings here. And again, the red wings here with the lover's card, okay? I'm seeing somebody who is aligned with their higher self. So Scorpio, I don't know what it is you're doing. Maybe it's starting around this time where you're making some important decisions. Maybe you're starting something new or just the way you're carrying yourself gives a total, totally different type of energy. So Scorpio, the temperance card is um, a card that teaches us to call upon your angels, your guides, uh, the spirit realm to help you get through what you're going through. Not that you're going through anything too difficult, I feel like, but I feel like it is major. I don't know if this is a new business you're starting or if it's a new partnership or relationship um, that you may be waiting for or wanting to start. The temperance card is here to show you that you shouldn't rush into any relationships or rush a relationship. If it is that you, you're waiting on something, it's almost telling you to like, wait sit back and everything's gonna align for you what's meant for you will align for you overall the temperance and the lover's card is giving me a vibe of, of freedom it's like you are accessing your higher chakras your higher um your higher energies and higher vibrations to align you to where you need to be and although i do see some obstacles which is there's nothing wrong with obstacles obstacles only teach us how to stay focused and grow all right because the nine of swords does talk about anxiety 
All right, it talks about anxiety, sleepless nights, or worrying for no reason. Okay, the Nine of Swords also, um, it just is, it associates with worry. So maybe you're worried that something might not work out this month. And, and what the universe is saying is it's going to work out. Everything is going to be fine because I see a lot of harmony um, in between you and another person or you yourself. Wherever that energy resonates, just put it there, okay? Whatever it is that you're going through, dealing with, or starting this month, or thinking about starting, I feel like it has great potential. Right, the Eight of Pentacles speaks about abundance coming your way into what you put your energy into. So, if you are starting something new that's aligned with your higher self, I feel like it's gonna work out as it should. Um, for others of you, if you're uh, worried about someone in around you that you haven't communicated with, I definitely feel like the month of May is gonna test you. But overall, you're gonna get through this. You're gonna push through this, and you're gonna stay focused on things that matter to you most. The Eight of Pentacles um, is also reminding you uh, to do what you love this month, okay? So the month of May may require for you to start something, a hobby. Um, stay focused on maybe that whatever you've started. If you've started a side business, whatever it is, it's, it's almost like the universe is telling you, you're doing a great job. We love what you're doing. Keep doing it. Do not worry about anything else and we're going to take care of the rest. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. But whatever you've been putting your energy into, like I said, studying, practicing, um, or or working on on all the uh, all these things, right? Whatever it is, maybe you have a a second job, a third job, whatever that you've been working on. I definitely get the vibe that you know that the universe is telling you to keep doing that. Trust that you can do anything you set your intention towards. Very beautiful here. Um, for others of you, if you've been waiting for love or you've you've been wanting a love offer, you did get that Knight of Pentacles at the back of the deck energy. I feel like it's going to come very soon. If you are waiting for someone to come back around and apologize to you or say something to you, it's almost like the universe is telling you have that patience and know that the, the world and it, the world, <laughs> the universe is working in your favor in some type of way. And this has the tremendous uh, opportunity to give you that freedom that you've been seeking for. So whatever this is about, Scorpio, you're on you're on the right path. You're on the right track. But May does bring about some sense of some sense of major decision that you may have to make. Uh, maybe you and your partner will be making this major major decision, and and maybe you guys at first won't come to agreement, but you guys will end up coming together and finding the solution for it as well. That can be a, a major thing for you. But overall, you know, the Scorpio full moon that just happened um, yesterday or whenever today, even if it's still here today, I'm not sure. Uh, but it, it was a very powerful moon for you, Scorpio, for you to find that freedom. So it's very ironic that I actually pulled out the freedom card. So it's it's a great time to find that balance and, and that freedom that you search for. Like whether this is, you know, finding your soul's purpose or just finding uh, something to do on, on your extra time, whatever the case is for you. I feel like you're evolving in some type of way and you're, you're gaining that freedom from it. So let's go ahead and see what advice from the universe comes your way. Scorpio Sun, Moon Ascendant, and Venus Signs. So here we get the sun, conscious mind, masculine life force. So you're definitely taking action on something this month or you're being asked to take action, stay active, do things that involve the masculine um, side of you, all right? And then here, like staying confident as well as what the sun can associate with. Or you may have a lover around you who is under the sign of a sun sign as well as Gemini. I'm seeing Sagittarius as well. So the nature, notice the harmony around you, okay? Maybe you need to spend a little bit more time in nature or just a little bit more alone time, all right? Figuring things out. So let's go ahead and, oh, back at the deck energy, I had to point it out. Action, awaken the warrior woman within. So if you've been wanting to start something, I feel like it's a great month to do so, the month of May. Let's go ahead and pull out 
your self-care oracle scorpio what's popping for scorpio let us know what's going on scorpio sun moon rising I hope you guys are enjoying your tarot reading so far. If you feel like this is resonating or that you like it, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button as that helps my channel tremendously, you guys. Or you can dislike the video as well. So here we got pleasure and take a walk. So very, very um, synchronistic here. Nature and take a walk, okay? And then you get pleasure um, as well as the lover's card, okay? So maybe you're doing something that's bringing a lot of pleasure to you. Maybe you're um, finding um, something that you love or that aligns with your higher self and that's bringing you pleasure or you may just need some pleasure. Whatever the case is for you, put that where it resonates. Let's go ahead and get your monology cards for the month of May. So let's get a monology card for the beginning of May or excuse me, the new moon. And the full moon. So new moon is going to be hold your vision. Okay, so if you're manifesting something, if you're starting something new, keep holding that vision. Know that everything's going to work out in your favor. And, you know, whatever it is that you've been starting or working on, hold, keep holding that vision. I feel like it's, it's about to become um, very abundant for you with the eight of pentacles here and then the last one you get is you're very close to achieving your goal so i definitely feel like after you put in the work and you really commit yourself to this um you're gonna find that it's gonna be very pleasing to you all right so let's go ahead and get a mermaid oracle oh okay change no when to move to a new shell especially if yours no longer fits so yeah maybe some of you guys are thinking about changing your job or doing something different and then choose wisely oh wow see there's a there's a big decision you're going to be making this month i'm not sure what it is i feel like it's different for everybody let me know down in the comments choose wisely be discerning you don't have to keep everything in your net no one to move to a new shell, especially if yours no longer fits. So I know that this new moon for you guys also brought a lot of, um, I don't know if I want to say secrets being revealed uh, about your family or maybe just you learning to let go of your family in some type of way or you're learning something new about your family. It could have all been um, something that you might have been dealing with around this full moon or it might be something that you're coming into here very soon as well. But whatever the case is, Scorpio, I feel like this decision that you're making, it has a possibility to bring you a lot of freedom, pleasure, and a lot of beautiful changes that may be coming your way. I keep forgetting because I, I put these behind me and so I forgot about them. So this is your spirit animal, okay? So just real quick here. Scorpio, dragonfly. So another pair of wings here. So this is very, you get three wings, all right? Either that or definitely an air sign in around you. The dragon, the dragonfly is a very uh, magical creature. So the dragonfly is the master of light, illusion, and the mind. Sees clearly, joyful, and magical. When it's out of balance, it can't concentrate and it has a busy mind. And the way you bring that into balance is by focusing on the breath. Okay? So that is all I have for you. Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys at your next sign or other signs to get a full picture of what's going on. Bye.